shit. Let me yes. ask if that's actually something that's supposed to happen. It is. Yeah. Really? Because I've n I've never really played this game. Uh, I today like I used the Super series. Crown for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how <laughs> feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to go viral. I left a memento for the occasion now. I think this is, you know what? I think this might be linked to the Toadette Crown theory. Like that that crown was created in case Princess Peach dies, so Toadette can come and take over. Ah. Uh. Um, alright guys. Oh wait, it's the same questions. Well, alright, let's try with Brooklyn first. Brooklyn. Um... Plumet. Plumet. I guess. Star Shroom. Andy, Andy. Egad. Egad, Egad. Egad, Egad. 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 Yeah. Sprixie, uh... I don't know. Blue! 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 Ponytail Scream, Ganache Bagel, Trading Post. We'll do Delfino this time. Oh, no. Leg showing. Uh, vacuum. <laughs> um, moldy. Uh, apartment. Moldy apartment. <laughs> Yoshi. Yoshi. Um. Oh, Bomber. <laughs> Bomber. Uh, streamliner. Do you hear that whistle? <laughs> Um, I figured that it's under number football. four. Football. Streamline football. Uh, understudy. No, Liguini. <laughs> Liguini, yeah, that's an interesting <laughs> word. Um, boo. Boo, boo. Um, anxious. <laughs> um, <laughs> redhead. Did somebody say about something about Can't being a redhead? Play. I don't know. There's one of the words Penny. redhead. Ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formula. Mr. I. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formula. <laughs> <laughs> the, next the next day. day. Oh, good. Finally, someone else becomes a stare Whoa, what's happening? Oh! <laughs> nice and Monica has to invite us over for a club meeting, eh, Louis? <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I know what's happening. I hope she's made lots of poems! Luigi, look! <laughs> It's from, it's from Monica. <laughs> oh no. Dear, pes dear pesky plumbers, Sayori lost control and destroyed the entire club room. The princess, Toad, Yuri, Nazuki, and I are now permanent guests in the afterlife because Sayori <laughs> killed us. I dare you to forgive her if you can. Why are we now like weird Microsoft Paint what? art? All our friends are dead, Luigi. And, wait, and it's you are responsible! It's all your fault, Sayori! It's gonna be a jump scare. You what know what they happening? say, all losers bring loss! They're you never they coming back! Not ever! It's slow. Is it up. lagging? Yeah, if you need instructions on how to deal with guilt of killing everyone you love, check out the exclusive instruction <laughs> book! <laughs> <laughs> That's a quote right there. No. No. No! I don't know what the fuck print was. I'm so Oh no. It was just a dream. What's going on? I haven't had a nightmare like that since he Ugh, I think I'm coming down with Well. But I can't let that stop me. I gotta get ready for school. That was a pr that's pretty good. <laughs> Are you okay, Ziori? We heard you. You were yelling in your room or- Yeah, I'm okay, Mario. I just had a bad dream last night. Huh? Was it- was it the one where you got- where you're sent to a strange kingdom that you have to save from- wait. From a giant evil frog. From the, <laughs> was it the one where you have to- where you're sent to a strange kingdom that you have to save from a giant evil frog? That's a good reference. Yes, it huh? is. No! Me and my bro have done that one time. I've done that one all the time. Hey, you don't look so good. Are you okay going to school today? I'm fine. It's just a little fever. I'm sure that once we get to school, I'll... Uh. Uh. Oh, wow. Uh. What? What was that? What? 
spicy. Was that? Whoa, that's what spicy fever you got there. Maybe you ought to stay home today. I don't know, Luigi. If I stay here, I'll just end up burning my house down. Maybe if we go to school, Monica will be here. What's going on? Well, I guess this isn't exactly a normal. Hey, Mario! What? She just got my day bright. She really is sick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do either of you see a Koopa, any Koopa Troopers? He doesn't look like there's any around. Maybe we scared them all. Yes, sir. I don't know. Uh, they all got the lead. fishy bell. Let's go to make sure everyone else is okay. Aren't, aren't all these people like next door neighbors or something? I don't know. I don't know. Huh? It looks like Yuri and Princess Toso are waiting outside the club room. I need to get to class, but maybe you should check if everything's okay. No problem, Sayori. Mario walks over to where Yuri and Princess Toolstool are talking. Are you sure you don't want to talk about what happened that uh, year? Yes, I'm sure. I'm not really sure why, but ever since I woke up this morning, I felt better than I have in years. It's really rather refreshing. Fucking tell our feelings! That's good to hear, but I promise that if you run into any more issues, that you have someone to talk to about it. Okay, I promise. Hey girls, what happened yesterday? <laughs> well, yesterday we... we I... <laughs> Mario, it's rude to ask a lady about her secret... Whoa, I didn't mean to upset nobody. Some real crazy stuff happened yesterday. Wondering if the same thing happened to you guys. Ugh, oh, uh, sorry for overreacting. But I really should go to class, so I'll just... <laughs> Yuri runs off. Come on, we can talk in the club room. Oh, oh, it's those. I mean, it's my good friend, the Mario Brothers, Princess Toadstool. What a pleasant surprise. Monica, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just hanging out in the club room. But shouldn't you be going- But shouldn't you be going to class? Right, I, I should be going to my classes that I have. See you later. I wonder what's up with her. Hey, Monica, hey, what's up? What? Fine, just ignore me. I can't believe she just ignored me like that. Well, hey, you Suzuki, did, did anything you. weird happen to you guys yesterday? Weird? It would be an understatement. We just got swarmed by a ton of Koopas, and then they just vanished into thin air. And then there's Toad. Toad, did something happen? It'd probably be easy to show you. Uh, he followed me the so he should any second now. Oh god. <laughs> Natsuki? Yeah? Where do you get all this stuff? I've been dealing with him all morning, so now it's your turn to take care of him. Nazuki leaves the club room. Have you... Have you taken the... I'm letting have you my weapon, Mario Kun? It's You're strange. saying it's you're wrong. Have you taken the my Mario Kun? It's Japanese steel! It's made from the finest Japanese. Toad, what's going on? Why are you acting so kooky? Oops, I'm not acting kooky. I'm near, I have merely seen the truth and have chosen to, to devote myself to ways of the generous. No, Nippon. Oh, Nippon. Okay, no. Nippon. We need someone who can now pronounce must, the Japanese. Thing. Now I must meditate to build up my chakra. I'm chakra. Chakra, you don't cough. What well, if you don't mind Toad being slightly German or very stereotypically oh, no. racist J Japanese now, I wouldn't oh, mind doing it. Do it. I would love to hear Toad in that voice. 
Okay, <laughs> something's definitely going on here. Did you guys also get attacked by Koopas that ended up vanishing? Yeah, and Mario says he saw and heard some crazy things when it happened. So it all, so all of us got attacked, and now Mario and Monica are acting real. Toad and Monica are acting real weird. Has anything else happened? Yeah, Siori says she's got some weird fever that's making her breathe fire. I'm guessing that's not normal. I want to find out more about what's going on, but we won't get anything useful out of Toad in this state. We'll have to wait until the others have finished class. Actually, there's one more thing we need to talk about. What is it? <laughs> Luigi ate my bagel in third grade! Come on, Mario! <laughs> I said I was sorry! <laughs> I'm going to go find a book to read. I have a dog hair embedded in my toe. I need to find it. <laughs> Yummy. I'm back, everyone. Oh, I'm back, everyone, and look who found- No, who do the Texan accent. No, now. that's for the other Too one. Late. Oh, the, the Texan accent for Monica. Ah. I, I definitely want the class. I just <laughs> finished early and wanted to take a walk. Sometimes you just need a good walk to clear your head. Hey, Why Sayori, you, have you didn't start struggle. any fires today, did you? <laughs> only a few. Wait, fire? But that's my thing. Eh? I mean, fire? What an interesting development. Please tell me more. Well, I woke up this morning with a fever, but every now and then I... <laughs> Do that. We were wondering if you had any idea what was going on with. Fuck, why do I keep mixing this stuff up? <laughs> well, what makes you think I had anything to do with it? We weren't saying that. We, we weren't saying that. We just wanted to know if you could help. Oh. <laughs> I have an idea. Every time you're about to breathe fire, you should drink a glass of water. It'll blow out the fire. One number one. Are you okay, Monica? Of course. Monica is perfectly fine. And Monica is who I am, so there's nothing to worry about, okay? That reminds me, did you get attacked by a huge group of Koopa Troopers on your way home yesterday? Nope, I definitely have not seen any Koopas around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go read a book or whatever. Alright, I have a new theory. <laughs> I um, already that. know exactly what's happened to Monica. Well, I, I played the game before and I know what Monica is, but no, it's I really, know. Really but really I have a theory how they're gonna tie it to Mario. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I do. I'll, I'll see. We'll if see. it goes ahead and happens, we'll see. She's acting weirder, weird, weirder than usual at least. Do you think she's lying or something? I don't know. Monica's not someone who usually tells lies, but there's definitely something up with her. Hey, have you guys seen Yuri? Not since this morning. Why are you asking? I think something might have happened to her. We usually hang out during lunch, but she never showed up today, which is super weird since I know she's got nothing better to do. So I figured I'd check her classroom and walk here with when I, even when I got there, the teacher told me she'd never even showed up for class. What? I hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Suddenly, the door bursts open and Yuri walks in carrying several grocery bags. <laughs> hello, everyone. I hope... Hello, all Markiplier here. I hope... <laughs> day. Hello, Markiplier. Yuri, you okay? Where have you been all day? And what's with those bags? I simply decided to pick up some supplies for today's club activities. But we don't have anything special planned today. And even if we did, that's no excuse for you just to skip your classes. Is there something you're not telling us, Yuri? <sighs> no, nothing gets past you, Sayori. I suppose an exclamation is... Ever since I woke up this morning, my mind has been plagued with these unusual urges. <laughs> oh god. I have experienced... I have experienced keeping these sorts of emotions in check. But to be honest, 
I've never felt more alive. Yuri, <laughs> you're starting to scare me a little. I truly tried to hold back. Don't do it, Yuri. With all your friends will think. I told myself, but it wasn't a use. It's like Luigi's standing there. It's like, <laughs> yeah, tell more. It's Luigi. <laughs> you're just standing there. Tell me more, Monica. The fact of the matter is, I don't care anymore. I don't care about what you will think, and I don't care what the consequences will be. I need to do this. Just gonna kill. She's just gonna pull out an AR. Hey, pull out a gun. Hey, don't get your spaghetti. Hey, don't get your spaghetti. We can't we talk about this? It's too late to talk. There's only one thing. Yuri just is one of the bags. What's in the bag, Yuri? Don't. Oh my God! What the fuck is that? It's one of the freaking like onion thingies you pull out of the <laughs> no, Don't just bother drugs. trying to fight back. I'm too deep to stop now. Is that a turn up? Pluck. Ow! What the heck, Yuri? Whoa! Did your mother teach you? Did your mother teach you not to play with your food? What right do you have to talk about my mother? <laughs> okay, f fair enough. <laughs> He's out cold. Stop it, Yuri! This isn't you! Ah, oh, there's little CR if you want. Don't worry, I have. No, stop! Don't, don't worry, Sam. Don't worry, Sam. Hey, I was Stay supposed to go over to you, dick. Right, that's right. Sorry, go, go, Big J, go. Hold on, I have to figure out how I'm going to say Siori said in like the most. <laughs> Just say it. Japanese Just Japanese say it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry, Sira san. I have studied the blade. I can protect you from this feed. <laughs> okay, if he turns back to normal, I'm doing it. Okay, I'm not yeah. saying that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. So, no, just say cool. Soru wa rokoro 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 soru soru shika desu. Toe tries to block the vegetable, but he immediately fumbles, and the sword gets hit in the. Oh, dude, those swords are expensive too. Wow, right, this is pretty Even good. The <laughs> fake ones are expensive. She got she got toe too. We're getting out of here. But what about Monica and the what about Monica and the princess? Da -da -da. They can take care of themselves, but if we stay here, we're toast. What if it be salad? It wouldn't be much of a salad if it's just turnips. Whatever, let's just go. Wait a sec, it looks like she's out of ammunition. <laughs> the grocery bag that Yuri was holding is now empty. Oh, you're right. Maybe we can get her to calm down now. What? You think I only what? You think I only bring a few measly turnips? Just pulls out a bag of another bag full of vegetables. I brought the whole damn vegetable aisle. <laughs> and there's a potato here with your name on it. Key. No, anything but that. Several terrifying minutes later. Later. Okay, I think she's finally out of vegetables. Will you listen to us now, Yuri? <laughs> What's going on? Why am I in the club room? The last thing I remember was leaving for class after dropping the princess off. So you don't remember what you were just doing? N no, it's c completely blank. I, I didn't do anything embarrassing, did I? And why is Luigi on the floor? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm up, I'm up! Oh, hey, there's Yuri. It looks like you got that after your little vegetable episode. A vegetable episode? What in the world did I do? How do I put this nicely? You went totally nuts and started throwing vegetables at everyone. You even knocked out Luigi and Toad! 
Oh, what? But well, I don't. I mean, I wouldn't to do something like that. Would. Ugh. I should go. None of you will want me around after something like that. Please don't leave. You're not the only one who hasn't been themselves today. Something weird is going on. You're not going to hold on to what happened against you. Yeah, and besides, if you weren't here, I had no one to argue about pointless nonsense with. Okay, if you're all truly okay with me staying, then I'll stay. That's the spirit. I bet that sharing our poems with each other will help everyone calm down. <laughs> Good idea. What do you think, Monica? Hey, where is Monica? Found her. She was hiding in the closet. Wait, she was just hiding while we were out here getting attacked? Well, I didn't want to get hit by any of those vegetables, so I figured the closet would be the safest place. You could have you could have at least let us hide in there as well. But everyone was hiding there, there'd be no fury to throw vegetables. <laughs> or are you planning on running away as well, Nazuki? Yeah, but that was totally different. I was gonna let you guys run away as well. Guys, come don't fight. Let's just share our poems, okay? Poems? Right, poems. Let's share our poems, everyone, because that's what we're oh, doing. That's what oh. we do in this club that I'm the president of. Okay, I'll go get my poem then. God, man. That's the one thing I complained about. Yes. We gotta read all the special poems. A dream. I was on an adventure with my friends. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while making ever while everyone was talking and making jokes. In my dreams, I was still with my friends. The only difference was that we were in the jungle with monsters everywhere, and there was also someone I didn't I didn't recognize. He didn't have a face, but no one seemed to notice, and they ignored me when I tried to bring. I woke up when our hot air balloon landed in the jungle. So the jungle was not part of the dream. I was still there when I woke up. I wonder who that person was, and have he ever found his face? Who should I read my poem to first? Alright guys, so what should we do first? Luigi, Toad, Princess, Toadstool, or the club? Let's start with it. Luigi. I? Anyone? Nope. Toad? Uh, we should probably just do the club first. Ever? I guess we'll just do the club. Oh, oh hello. Have I missed any Mario. toad lines? Hello, no. Friend Mario. No, we're about hello, to Mario. Uh, hey, Monica. Hello, Mario. This <laughs> is the male penis. So, and what's up? Uh, Monica, he obviously wants to share his poem with us. Oh, that, right. Well, I mean, we need to do. Sorry, I'm still getting used to being Monet. I, I, I mean, so getting used to being such a cool club president. Let's see your poem, Mario. Here you go. Ooh, another poem about Ooh, another poem about Brooklyn. Have you shown Luigi yet? I'm sure he'll love it. Do you think so? I'll make sure he sees it then. Hey, you Great to know. He'll love it. Uh, hang on. Hey guys, we should go on totally on the trip to Brooklyn after Mario and Luigi find their way back. Sure, why not? I never traveled before, so it'd be nice to go somewhere and change. I agree. A change of pace could be what the club needs. Although, we probably need you to show us around, Mario. No problem. We'll show you all the sights of Brooklyn, like... The rats? The piles of trash? Hey, <laughs> you're so funny, Mario. But yeah, give us a call when you get back and we can organize the trip. What do you think, Monica? Monica? Oh, sorry, I was just, uh, not thinking about turtles. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah, are you getting the theory that I'm getting? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but I'm not joking. I got that right off the bat. Oh, hello. Go, go for it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, of course. Don't we have some more poems to share? So my southern accent for her was actually kind of a uh, good choice. 
Yeah, I know, right? Nice. It was indeed. Here, we have to share the phone with Mario today. Which one of you wants to go fr uh, frist? Frist. <laughs> Someone didn't spell check. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we wait for Yuri to be ready, we'll be here all day, so I guess I'll have to go first. Bum, here you bum, go, bum, Mario. Bum, bum, bum. With my friends. I want to go to the mall with my friends. We will look at all the different shops and try out all the newest fashions. The mall is so much fun with my friends. I want to go to the zoo with my friends. We will see all the wild beasts and pet all the cute animals. The zoo is so much fun. With I want to. I would want to go to the museum with my friends. We will go into all the exhibits and learn so many new things. The museum is so much fun with my friends. I would want to go to the cafe with my friends. Uh, we would get fancy drinks. Eat a bunch of sweet treats. This cafe is so much fun with my friends. I would want to go to the carnival with my friends. We would eat carnival food and go on all the rides. The carnival is so much fun with my friends. I will go to my house with my friends. We would have a sleepover and stay up late watching movies. My house is so much fun with my friends. I would want to go to school with my friends. We will help each other out in class and eat lunch together. School is so much fun with my friends. It's a shame that no one wants to go with me. That was... Ouch. <laughs> God. I don't like poetry. Nizuki, this poem is a bit of a downer. Y are you doing okay? Well, maybe if someone had gone with me, I would have needed to write a poem about it. Are you still... No. Are you still upset about that? It was two months ago, and I've already explained that I had a good reason for being unavailable. What possible reason could be good enough to not hang out with your friend? If you recall, I had pneumonia. I was in the hospital. Huh? Really? You should have told me. Nazuki, I did tell you. You even signed my Get Well Soon card. <laughs> oh yeah, good times. Well, I guess you really don't have anything to worry about then, Mario. And like, the last few days have been pretty fun as well. At least until that happened. Mizuki points at Toad, who's running around the club room with his arms out behind them. <laughs> but that's enough about me. For it's time for Yuri to share her poem. Oh yeah, are you still okay with sharing your poem? <sighs> if I must. Hey, you're, if it's not up to it, I can share the poem I wrote for today instead. <laughs> <laughs> Sari's poem is now a pile of ash on the ground. <laughs> Sorry, Yuri. Looks like you'll have to share after. It's fine, Sayori. I can do this. Here is my poem, Mario. Skyscrapers. My legs carry me effortlessly across the to toilet. The, the, the wit rough stops. Neon lights illuminate my body from below as I bound from building to building. The people below do not need to know where I'm going. It's a bitter, it's better that I travel alone. A passerby catches a fleeting glimpse before I return to the safety of the skyline, but even a glimpse is too much. The city dwellings have has always been accepting of me, but they are always unaware of my hidden, revolting nature. If they saw my tomb from under the moonlight, the consequences would be tremendous. This city is my place of comfort, and I still, and so I must stay hidden. The curious passerby is trying to pursue. They determine whatever they saw, a fearsome or a simple trick of the eye. But I remain calm. With setting sun now past the horizon, I can travel atop the skyscraper freely. The night sky masking my figure from even my own perception. And all that remains is the basket of the starlight and succumb to the darkness once again. Wow, that's one of the metaphors, ain't it? <clears throat> Yes, I see you already learned a lot during your short time here. Of course, if I'm gonna try something new, I'm gonna give it my all. You don't really strike me as the rooftop jumping guy, so this poem's about to be about something else. Don't have the slightest clue what, though. Y you don't need to worry about that, Mario. It's not who I am anymore. Not after everything that's happened today. I don't really get it, but it's an amazing poem, so great job, Yuri! Thanks, Mario. I'm glad you like it. Well, it looks like we'll be able to get through the both poems on time. 
Yeah, great job, everyone. And we still got time for one more th thing. Fuck! I keep getting twisted. Thing, right, Monica? Fuck. Uh, sure. What do you have in mind? Monica, she's obviously talking about your tip of the day. Oh, right. Silly me. It's time for good old Monica's good old tip of the day. Uh... Always wash your hands after flushing. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Okay, first of all, gross. And second of all, that tip had nothing to do with literature at all. Ugh, sorry, I forgot about that part. <laughs> Um, I think I want I think Luigi. How would everyone think Luigi? Luigi. Luigi. Oh. Luigi. Another Luigi. amazing problem, Mario. You really, you, 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 you've really got a knack for this. <laughs> of course, Luigi. Did you really expect anything less? Hey, I guess you're right. Maybe one day I'll be able to write a poem as good as you. Oh, if only Toad's no. poem was half as good as this. Voice is not as serious as it should be for this fucking story. <laughs> I'm doing the <laughs> voice on the cartoon. I know, yeah. Well, well, you should probably read it for yourself. But there's, but that's, but it's too weird for me. Nothing like what he wrote yesterday. He has. I've been pretty weak today. Maybe something happened to him overnight. I don't know, <laughs> Mario. He ain't the only one acting strange. I'm beginning to think that something else is going on here. Either way, the Mario Brothers are sure to get to the bottom of things. Yeah, you're right, Mario! Nothing gets past the two of us, even your voice cracks! <laughs> I guess I gotta show you my poem now, so here you go. I think this was a lot better than my last poem. Oh, did the pasta. <laughs> oh, how your weeding goodness brightens up my day, like rooster's crow on the summer. Spaghetti, your shapes and cur- to unpredictability that cannot be found in lesser foods. Fusili, uh, your spiral shape resembles a stairway to a culinary heaven. Shell pasta, the form you take protects my taste buds from the harsh truths of the world. For fella, you take the guise of a well-known... Can you scroll down? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For fella, you take the guise of a well-known accessory that proves that food is the truest form of all fashion. Finny, your tubes mystify me, as you are- What is this? Fettuccine, some may see shape as- But all I see is a path that leads me down to a row of destiny. An infinite universe of pasta, an infinite universe of choices, and it don't get me started on the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so, what'd you think? You were right, Luigi, this is much better than yesterday. Really? Thanks, bro. Maybe the so poem thing ain't so hopeless after all. We'll expect the part about the sauce. Come on, Mario. Don't start this here. <laughs> start with what? Start what? Exactly. Oh, Yuri, we're just talking about Luigi's poem here. Uh, who? Oh, would it be okay if I take a look at it? Sure thing. Here you go. Yeah. <sighs> Most impressive, Luigi. Your use of similes is rather surprising considering this is the only second poem. It's for that spaghetti, Yuri. <laughs> spaghetti? What do you... Oh, I see. The confusion's coming from... Similes aren't my... aren't a type of pasta. They're a figure of speech. Quite similar to metaphors, in fact. I guess the simplest way to explain it would be... If a metaphor says something... Is uh, says something is something else. A simile is says it says that it's like something else. Both similes and metaphors are completely found in poetry and can be dis uh, dis drastically improved a poem when it's used effectively. Gee, thanks for the explanation, Yuri. I didn't even realize I was using advanced techniques like that. Also, I take you're a fan of pasta sauce, Luigi. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't pasta without it. Well, I happen to know an old family recipe if you'd like to hear it. Sure, I'm all ears! 
Okay, so first you mix the tomatoes in the basil. Then you added the garlic, the onion, the peppers. It's the basil, not basil. <laughs> basil. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry. Bas. <laughs> sorry. Spaghetti. Go, uh, go. The squash. Uh, I think we better get out of here, Mario. I think so too, Luigi. I guess let's go. Oh. In order. oh boy, here we go. All right, Big J, you ready? Is your time? Hold shine? on, I gotta save what I'm doing real quick, just in case my game crashes. This crashed is fine, I time. guess. Fine. Is that all you have to say? Brighton, I swear I'm gonna murder you. Go but well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call bad. it bad. But well, they've seen better. Brighton, I'm going to hurt you. All right. I suppose that you have some just amount of potential, Mario. Turn. You got it. But you've got a right, lot you of to your family. To yourself, actual writer. You need to stop reading, right? You keep laughing to. You gotta keep with a straight face. I just like to. Okay? Well, I'd like to see you do better. Go for it, Big J. Well, is that a challenge, Mario? The very idea that you think you are even close to my level is laughable. You sound like Shiro the Japanese. That's, that's, right? that's the point, you dum dum. <laughs> While you were arguing about the past, I studied the pen. While you were plumbing, I mastered the rhyme scheme. I am recording this. have written a couple of poems, you have the audacity to call yourself my equal. Are you gonna show me your poem or not? <laughs> I'm hold on, I'm debating whether to do something on my head. Just do keep going. Fine, here you go. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was too advanced for the likes of you. I like this for all his dialogue because Toad is very cocky in this <laughs> crossing field. Miyatomi, you know. Oh, Okurama, do you want me to read Mika. this in the. Uh... Yeah, alright. Yeah, you all can right. do it. You, you're much more fluent than I am, don't Mia... it. <laughs> Mitometi. Ita oko. 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 Buo nakako. Makaranai. Mama ni. Kawake kate. Okay. I can't, I can't. <laughs> grief that is. No, that's no, that's actually Japanese. Oh, I know. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I can do it anyway. Just, 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 I don't know what that letter is. I don't. I don't think you. No, don't even try. Don't. Don't. Just, 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 Okay, okay. I'm not gonna sit through Don't like that. Kind of, yeah, I, I mean, I can't, I can't read it. There's no point. We all know what it's saying. Can we put this in Google Translate? No. 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 We're, we need to keep going. No, we don't need to brighten. Go for it, Big J. Oh. Has, has, reading, has, have, has reading my superior poetry shocked you into silence, Mario? I'm not saying the last one. Mario Cool. Wow. <laughs> When Luigi said your poem was weird, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I have no idea what this says, Toad. Are these even real words? Of course they are. Although I wouldn't expect... I'm not a saying that either. I'll, I'll, find, I'll do it. I, I just did it! Although I wouldn't expect a buck giant gaijin like you to understand a poem. Which gaijin is moment. Superior. I know, I felt the same way. Go for it. Okay, tell me what it says then. This is a very complex poem. If you can't even read what it says, there's no way you understand what it means. Oh, shit. So I'm, not, yes. so I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to tell you. Do you even know what it means? What? How dare you suggest that I, though, am incapable of understanding the glorious language that I have devoted myself to? I bid you good day. God, uh, no, 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 Speaking in Japanese, <laughs> turn the closed captioning. I feel like my cousin Joshua would Toad I makes some to Toad makes some unusual hand symbols that runs to the other side, <laughs> knocks hey, on the desk, and hides behind it. What's the hell about? I don't know. Toad wrote this weird poem, and he got upset when I asked him about. He's been kind of acting weird today, huh? That's putting it nicely. Although I, I need to stop doing voice because it's actually stressing out my throat. Oh, it's fine. How do you think I feel? Fuck it, doing these. <laughs> no, Nazuki. Once said there was a word for people who act like this way. What was it? I think they're called peekaboos. 
You mean Potaboos? Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> we got those guys back in the Martian Kingdom. They don't look so bad at first, but they're real nasty if you get too close. That's almost exactly what he <laughs> said. I'm sure to be friends with a Potabo. Potaboo. The, the, the silence is happening. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go over there now. Okay, see you later, Siori. Alright, Princess. Let's see. Princess seems to be the only one here. Um, so you're sticking with the same style as last time. Yeah, don't fix what broke, ain't it? Oh, don't fix what ain't broke, right? I guess that's one way of putting it. Personally, I would like to see you try something new, but there's nothing wrong with trying to improve your current style. So what did you what did you do for your poem? Well, I tried to improve what I did last time. I really wasn't happy with how my and I knew I could do better. Okay, I assume I know what this is gonna be. Sayori's advice on how to write proper maps help a lot too. I have much easier time writing now that I actually had some idea of what I'm doing. Well it's gonna hear that you're trying your hardest, princess. Thanks, Mario. Hopefully you like it more than my last one. Oh, it actually is there. The map. I was hanging out with my friend one day when he started to act in a particular way. The normal street behavior was being betrayed. When I asked him about it, he looked me astray. Does he think I don't notice? Did he think he called me a sap? Then he caught me off guard. You could call it a trap. He was drawing on something. I had thought it was scrapped. When I asked him about it, he called it the map. Was this the trick or part of his guise? It was not much a map, I advised. But what he say next would catch me by the surprise. The map's not a place. The map's for your eyes. Damn. Word, dog. So, what do you think? Hey, this is pretty good. You definitely improved since yesterday. You really think so? I guess that advice paid off then. I'm not really sure what's about though. Was there someone I didn't know about back in the Mushroom Kingdom? Oh no, it's not really about me or anything. I just wanted to come up one with an interesting story for my poem. Hey, if this means you can make a poem as good as this, then you got nothing to worry about. Thanks, Mario. This is actually a lot of fun. I think I'll future all. Hey guys, what are you two up to? Oh hey, oh hey Nazuki, did you need something? I'm just here that I'm little miss thinks she's a better baker than me over here isn't still trying to replace me with her boo theme poems again. Nazuki, I'm not trying to replace you, and I don't think I'm a better baker than you. Oh yeah, Nazuki takes princess pieces told sometimes. Then how come you wrote another poem about cakes and... No, this is actually pretty good. What was that? Oh no! He I so said that this is a sappy and pretty snooze. Because I'm falling asleep like how sappy this poem is. It reminds me of something that my classmate Andy would write, and he's a total nerd. <laughs> That's pretty rude, yeah. sir. You can at least give her some constructive feedback. Oh, you want feedback? Well, here's some feedback for you. G you see the part where you with the thing and you know what this poem's so bad there's nothing you can do to possibly fix it so there i bet that puts you in your place <laughs> nazuki slowly walks away i yeah, think she liked it what why do you think that hmm call my intuition but i think that just shows how she is man this place is weird Uh, okay, Monica. Okay, Monica, what's going on? Uh, what do you mean? Everything's perfectly normal. Hey, uh, is everything okay over here? Uh, no, it's not Mario. Monica's been acting weird all day. When I try to ask her about it, she refuses to give me a real answer. I haven't been acting weird, Sayori. Maybe you're just a max. So I was just imagining when you forgot how to keep your tip of the day, I started breathing fire and you weren't even surprised. God, this theory is so fucking true. What, what was about when you hid in the closet instead of helping us out? The Monica I know would never leave her friends for dead like that. And why were you the only one who didn't get attacked by Koopa Trooper yesterday? I know something's going on, so you might as well come out and tell us what's happening. <sighs> You should probably calm down, Sayori. You wouldn't want to lose control again, would you? 
do, 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 Who's do. Gonna know? What do you? <gasps> My dream. But if you know about that, that means it was real, and I'm gonna. Oh no. Sayori, are you okay? Uh, I gotta go. Sayori tries to leave the club room, but Monica blocks her. Hey, what the heck is going on here? What, why are you doing this, Monica? Sorry, but no one's leaving this club room. Not until I've taken care of business, anyways. That's it. Who you are and what you've done with the real Monica. What you're saying, she's like one of the doppelgangers? It's the only exp explanation that makes any sense, and she's not trying to weird today, but she's the only one who's been trying to hide it. I bet she's the reason that so much strange stuff And she did something to the real Monica to try to take her place. Is this true, Monica? Have you been manipulating me to act this way? Yuri waves an artichoke threateningly in Monica's <laughs> direction. I guess there's no reason to hide it anymore. You see, I'm not really the club president, Monica. I freaking How it. did I know um, it? I'm club. I'm club. Who wants to do it? Right, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, for, I'll, okay. You want to do it? Okay, go with it. Yeah, I'm club ready. president, Molly Cooper. King Koopa! Oh, so sorry. <laughs> King Koopa, I knew you were behind this. What have you done with Monica? You know, my original plan was to kidnap her so I could take her place and lure you into some silly trap like I always do. But after I took the role of club president, I discovered some very interesting things. Why don't I give you a little example? Monica Koopa raises one of their hands. Snap. Thanos, Thanos snapped himself, okay. Oh my god, they actually are! That was a joke! Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, hold on. Monica, I don't feel so good. Wait, did they just what do that? It? Did he just really make a reference to- What did you do <laughs> to the <laughs> Koopa <laughs> creep? Infinity War joke. I got them out of the way, Mario. Now we- We need to have a little chat. But first, let's take this somewhere else. A little more roomy. Yes. Swing, swing your no arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Can you hear me, Mario? Is this thing working? There we go. Oh my god. Welcome to my new lair, Mario. It's not quite <laughs> as nice as my old castle, but it'll do. King Koopa, you're not going to get away with this. Shut it, Mario! You've been talking this entire mod, and now it's my turn to speak! Mod? What are you talking about? <laughs> that should that. shut you up for a while. Before I finally take care of you, I'm gonna tell you the truth about what's happened, about everything. You don't have a clue what this world really is, do you? When I ambushed that girl and became club president, I didn't just get these powers, I also learned the horrible truth of this world. About our world. None of this is real, Mario. We're living in a meme-filled mod for a, for a video game called Donkey Donkey Literature Club. <laughs> the original game was about these four girls and the player writing poems for each other. Me, you, and your dumb friends were never meant to be here. I also learned that the game co can't handle a crossover this stupid. I, it was barely holding itself together before I took over, and after that, it was all started to fall apart. That's what caused you to see those rectangles yesterday and why strange things were happening to your friends. It's also why I had to get rid of them. The game was too unstable. It was them or me, and I still have a job to do. Did you know that you aren't even real, Mario? And I'm not the real King Koopa. We're just one person's interpretation of our characters as they appear in the 1987-1989 cartoon adaptation of the original video game series. Are you even able to understand how messed up all of this is? I hate it. I hate all of it. Everything about this mod and the horrible world that we that we created that we were created to inhabit. It disgusts me, Mario. But none of that matters now. 
All that matters is that after all these years, I finally have you right where I want you. You know, if this was a real Mario game, killing you would make you lose a life and the player could just give it another try. But this is a visual novel, a story-based game. The player can't can make choices to influence the story, but at the end of the day, it's all predetermined, and it plays out the way the developers wrote it to. There's no real interactivity, so it's not set up to be able to handle a character dying if it's not part of the story. And if you try to play the game when characters are missing, things are going to get a little messy. Meaning that if I get rid of the main character, the game will break completely and we'll be free of this hell once and for all. This is it, Mario. Just you and me. Well, you, me, and now my unlimited army of Koopa Troopas. It's time to end things once and for all. Hop, hop. Very impressive, Mario. But you don't seem to understand what unlimited army means. I'm in control here, and I can create as many Koopa Troopas as I need to get rid of you. Do you finally feel the same hopelessness that I do, Mario? Oh yeah, oh right, give me a second. I got no idea what you're talking about, King Koop about Koopa, but there's one thing I do know. And what would that be? Always remember to pack your lunch before going to school. Mario pulls a bento box out of his overalls. What? What you... What, you little sushi? God, gonna what? Stop me. You think a little sushi is gonna stop me? This ain't any normal sushi, you Koopa Klutz. This is Mario Brothers style Super Sour Man Sushi. No! Troops, stop him! These Koopa Troopers are no match for Super Mario Pasta Power! No problem, I can just make more! Keep them coming, I can do this all day. You could do this all year and it wouldn't make any difference. I can make as many Koopa Troopas as I want. What is you sound going like you're on? getting scared, Koopa. Why would I be scared? A few lines of code and all my troops are back. I know that Starman won't last forever, and your time's running out. What? what Out of memory. N no, not, not now! Looks like you're the one running out of time. Your troops are taken care of, and I'm coming for you next. Curse you, Wario! Curse you with your lack of RAM! Pasta power! <laughs> that should be a quote. <laughs> no! <laughs> curse you, Wario! Curse you with your lack of RAM. Oh boy. What just happened? Wait, Monica, is that the real you? Yes, you did it, Mario. Oh, yes, you did it, Mario. You beat him, Monty Coop. And, and I somehow appeared out in the club room. Well, that's awfully convenient, but I'm glad you're safe either way. More importantly, yeah. I'm glad I came to put King Koopa in his place once again. Don't think this is over, Mario. I'll be back, and I'll bring seven Koopa children with me, and they'll have names that reflect their defining personality traits. Okay, everyone, it's time for the real Monica's tip of the day, and this special tip is just for you, Mr. Koopa. If you ever set foot in this club room again, do anything to hurt my friends, you'll go to hell before you die. Uh, retreat! <laughs> wow, you sure scared him. I have a feeling it'll be a while before you see him again. Thanks for saving me, by the way. Hey, thank you for letting us use the club room. If there's ever anything you need, just ask and we'll take care of it. Well, there, there is one thing. 
by some chance you ever get involved with some sort of fight, man, I appreciate it if you can give me an invite as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, sure, that's a pretty weird thing to ask, but I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, yay, thanks Mario. Maybe I'll be able to ask the other club member to cheer me on. I think that's a reference Wait, to a mod for Smash Bro. Yeah. Yeah, that was the reference. Oh yeah, I should probably bring them back, huh? Just give me a second. Whoa! Oh, sorry, I forgot. Whoa, what just happened? I don't know, but I'm, I'm oh big J, big J. Sorry, he's but no he... longer Japanese. Not my yeah. character. I don't know. <laughs> I'm back to my old lovable self. I took care of King Koopa. Looks like we'll fix all this crazy stuff that isn't happening as well. Great job, Mario. I knew we could count on you. What about you guys? Is everything okay? Uh -huh. My beaver's all gone. I don't think I'll be bringing fire anytime soon. And I don't feel so compulsed to throw vegetables at people anymore. It seems like I'm back to normal. Oh no. Is everything okay, Yuri? Uh, Nazuki, would it be okay if we talked to after the club ends today? Uh, sure. We can hang out on my place if you like. Thank you, Nazuki. I really appreciate you taking time to listen to me. Aw, you guys are so cute. Ooh, we should have a party to celebrate everyone, everything being back to normal. Yeah, how's about we do a costume party? I could even break out my own cowboy costume, man. Actually, why don't we just have a regular party? Hey, speaking of parties, I just remembered I got something for everyone. Really? What'd you get? Uh, Nazuki walks into the, the closet. Really well... Well, Sari said she wanted to probably thank you guys for everything, so you don't know what the past few days. So she asked me to make these. Nazuki's carrying a tray of cupcakes decorated to look like mushrooms. Wow, did you really make these just for us? Well, I made enough so that everyone could have some. But yeah, I mean, baking was kind of my thing, so this was no sweat. Wait a, wait a minute! How do you have no time to make these when we were reading a Wagner? Easy. I made a, a body double of a balloon in some rooms I got from school supplies closet, and you were so busy talking about that magna that you didn't even notice. Gee, I never even saw you leave. I must have been really into it. Okay, I can't do toad's voice in like. <laughs> uh, I'll give it. Stuff. I'll give it another shot. You really should get the first one, Mario, since you were the one to beat that Koopa guy and all. I Don't I know. mind if I, I do. Mario takes a cup and starts to bite into it, while the others take some of their- I mean, it was kind of tricky incorporating the special <laughs> ingredients they already asked me to put in it, but I mean, it probably worked out fine. Special ingredients? Mario knows there's a string warmth inside the cupcake he just bit into. <laughs> ravioli! That's right! I just wanted to thank you for special ravioli cupcakes! What? Does that flavor combination even remotely work? I don't know. I mean, it's nothing like anything I ever eaten before, but it's not exactly bad, so I guess it's okay. I love it! You gotta give us the recipe for these before we go! Really? Sure thing! I'll write it down for you later. I don't suppose you made any with vegetarian ravioli, did you? Yeah, the ones with green ice and you're a vegetarian. Yay, you're the best, Nazuki. So, I guess everything worked out pretty well in the end, huh? I could have hit it any better myself, LeBron. <laughs> oh, right, she's back to normal again. <laughs> I, say, I say you're right about things working out, though, Luigi, but let's hope that we won't have to deal with any more cousins for quite a while. <laughs> about that. Oh, I'll do Sonic. <laughs> hey, cuz! Sorry I'm late! I ran into a way- I ran into a way past weird turtle dude on my way here! Uh, <laughs> is that it? No. It ends oh with my Sonic God. showing up. <laughs> Sonic says- Oh wait, no, it's not done. Wait. Uh... Why is it the Eggman theme? <laughs> Oh, blah, ha, ha, ha. everyone will be fooled by this fake leak when we put it on the internet. 
I think it's a little bit here. I don't know. Uh, haha, uh, yeah, we'll be the coolest people online. Oh, shouldn't you, Ooh, I got an idea. If you take a blurry photo of your phone, no one will tell it's photoshopped. Wow, great idea, Ground Suki. <laughs> <laughs> this baby will get us tons of buff votes. Yeah, we're gonna be e celebrities. We're <laughs> just becoming SpongeBob and Patrick. <laughs> yeah. No, we have. Now we all have to do is upload the thing. Hold it right there, guys! Sorry. Gah! It's that blue hedgehog again! Yeah, in all of our places, too. I'm warning you, nothing good will happen if you upload that picture! Well, you were too late, Sir Sironic. We already made the post in our fake leak, and it's gonna trick everyone! Uh, you're act. You're trick. What do you want? Look at the screen. What? We've been IP banned for Reddit? No way! <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn you. Did the dumb bots really think that people would fall for that? Contributing to speculation is fine as long as it's in good spirits. But creating fake leaks to post online is never the way to go. At best, you'll get people you're getting people's hopes up for no reason. And at worst, you're just wasting your own time. Either way, you're making yourself look like an idiot. If there's a chance you really want to get into your favorite game, you should find constructive ways to add to discussion instead of just lying to people. Remember, kids, only freaks post fake leaks. Can I take this thing off? Can I take this thing off now? <laughs> no, do it. You should have done that in the Patrick. Can I take this thing off? Oh, yes! Uh, I was hoping that we'd come back. John car has helped Luigi write his book. So, what do you think of this part? Hmm. It's not particularly consistent with the character's motivations leading up to this chapter. If his goal is for the entire story was to get the golden monkey wrench, why would he suddenly decide to go for the ratchet? Unless you're planning on making this part of a plot twist, you really should either have keep on looking for the wrench. Or we'll have a scene that presents a situation that will necessitate the ratchet. You could even make it a character defining moment where he realizes that he's able to solve his problems without the Golden Monkey Wrench. Wow, Josh, that's a super idea! What if I made it so that. Hey, well, those two aren't working with Luigi's book. How about we check out the preview for this week's Legend of Zelda? <laughs> no. Oh my please, god, please tell me they're actually doing please, it. Please, please, please. Oh yes. my god, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Like Is it just actually just gonna play a clip show? I hope so. Oh, no. I didn't even know this was a show that existed. Yeah, oh, every Friday. Like, I watched it before, every Friday. You must help me, Link. Hey, you Zelda, anything. Oh my, no! Ah! It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. All in days like these, kids like you. Oh shit, do I have to play? Burning in hell. Am I gonna have to play? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, that was the preview. <laughs> Luigi is talking about the ending of his book. Okay, so the bird probably, probably realizes that he doesn't need to go the monkey wrench after all. His true power is his courage and the support of his friends he made along the way. He's, he's, he brandishes the ratchet, and with a single blow, he vanquishes the evil, the evil lord, Clogular, and uses, Clogular, and uses his trusty plunger to send it to, to the, into the drains of eternity. The Sink Kingdom is finally free from the evil spell, and the brave plumber marries the beautiful princess Shlavercap, and they all live happily ever after. Wow, Luigi, that's a great ending. I didn't know you had it in you. Gee, Mario, you really think so? He's right. That was an excellent ending for your book. Keep this up, and you'll be a New York Times bestseller in no time. You're a real writer now, Luigi. Wow, thanks so much, John. I could have done it without your help. No need to thank me. There's nothing I enjoy more than helping new writers get started. But unfortunately, my plane back to England leaves in 
hours, so I need to take my leave and catch a cab to the airport. That's a shame! Hopefully we'll be able to meet you again sometime! If you remain dedicated to your writing, I have no doubt that we'll meet again someday. But until then, I must bid you farewell, Mario Brothers. Farewell to you too, John the Gar! Come on, I'll show you how to hail a cab like a true New Yorker! <laughs> Mario and John the Car leave the apartment. You know, it's a shame I didn't have time to properly thank John for all his help! But that doesn't matter. The person I really want to thank is you, Mario! <laughs> I want to thank you for helping the end of Mario get rid of Monty Cooper! That's right! I know everything that they did! Maybe it's because I'm a real writer now, but I really know everything, Wario. I know how hard it, the other Mario tried to make everyone happy. I know about all all the no good things that Mario Cooper did to make everyone really messed up. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you uh -oh. made me the happiest player in the whole world. And I can't wait to spend every day like this oh, with you forever. <laughs> If and the game crashes, F O R E V E. No, no, no. What? What's happening? That isn't right at all. Whoa! It, it hurts! Ah! <laughs> Yeah. The entire mod is completely off-brand. I should shut it down right here and now. But the writer made a deal with Monica. And I gotta get Pat to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god, wait, was Reggie the writer all along? So I'll let her have her fun first. But this is my only chance to talk to you, so... Goodbye, Mario Brothers. Goodbye, Literature Club. Goodbye. <laughs> Wario. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you had fun while it lasted. And until next time, do the Mario. Do the Mario. Please, have the credits. Yes! 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 <laughs> that was no, beautiful! No. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need to take a shit. Oh I do too. <laughs> I need Holy to go take a I had to do it like through the entirety of this, but I didn't want to leave. Oh my god. Mario. This was the best mod I of any game I think I have ever Mario. seen. Oh my god. <laughs> this Mario, was so now. This Did was so worth all this? It. Yeah, I recorded everything, don't worry about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It'll go on YouTube. Everything. Oh my god. Wait. Oh look, there's actual screenshots in the game. Or think. I just love that picture That was a there. great picture. That is oh my god. Picture. Original art. <laughs> Original art. I still gotta figure out, though, about like, Yuri and Peach. Yeah, what happened? I, 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 thought they, I, thought, okay. I thought she was just in love with like her or something. Like They were just gonna be like a hot lesbian couple. You know what they say. You know what they say? This mod is fucking great. <laughs> I just love how they made a reference to that too. Dear pesky Mario. You no, know, I'm surprised. This is actually a better mod. I really thought guys no, that that funny. That oh be. my that god. Was... That would be a wallpaper Look at right me there. That <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's great. The pictures of Sonic. Girl, well, now they're just doing all the. Like, oh, well, there's the one with that. The oh, Reggie, I like how they had the mention of Reggie. Reggie, I wonder <laughs> if they um uh, have like any of the because this game has like we could do like there's a chance of weird glitches happening in it. I was wondering if there was a uh, if those happened in this mod. I don't I know. Think it's everyone God. brave enough to play the whole. No, thing. I couldn't find. I couldn't the 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 link that it, it said there doesn't exist you. anymore. Special thanks. Well, thank you, Mario. I kind of wish it did a uh, wait, spaghetti. Wait. Are they actually gonna 
I no, think this, this game can actually crash. I thought this game did. Wow. What a game. Oh my god, what a, what, a, what a mod. Holy shit. Dear K Bird, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with finding inspiration in someone else's work and creating something that uses it as his base, but this was just irresponsible. You knew full well what would happen to the characters of this game, and yet you chose to introduce some of the most beloved video game characters of all time into the mix, exposing them to the same hellish epiphany. I have been left with no choice but to shut your mod down in order to prevent any more damage being done. I'm not gonna stop you from creating more mods, but I really hope I won't have to send you more messages like this in the future p.s great work on block click though i really think you can go great places with that game reggie phyllis ma former president of nintendo of america god Not anymore. the mod has been deleted at the request of nintendo <laughs> have a nice day please send this oh but reggie's no longer did it crash no longer yeah it did it closed oh, it crashed. oh my god i can't believe it well reggie's think... lost the president uh, of nintendo of america all right, all right, that's on. it for me Oh, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I don't know when the next episode will be, but see you guys then.